Welcome back reception to part three of our maths learning today. Today we've learned all about circles and triangles. Now can you play a little game with me just to finish off our lesson? Oh, now I've got in one hand I've got a circle and in the other hand I've got a triangle but I don't know which is which. So I'm going to close my eyes and you're going to tell me what I've got. But you've got to tell me how I know. So if it's a circle, you've got to say, because it's got one curved side. If it's a triangle, you've got to say that it's got three straight sides. See if you can help me guess. Oh, what shape am I holding up? Oh, let me listen. Oh, it's got one curved side. It must be a circle. It is a circle. Thank you, reception. Right, let's see. What am I going to hold up now? Mm -hmm. Let me listen. It's got three straight sides. Well, it must be a triangle. It is a triangle. Thank you for telling me, reception. You're amazing. Now. I've got two more activities that I'd like you to do today. They're really, really fun. First of all, I was outside today and I found some sticks. And I thought, wouldn't it be fun to try to make some shapes using my sticks? Do you want to have a look? So I'm going to try and make a triangle using my sticks. I need three. One, two, <gasps> look, one, two, three, that's amazing. For your activity now, I'd like you to go outside with your helper and collect some sticks. Now, if that's not possible because it's a little bit rainy, then I'd like you to find some other things that are straight in your house. So that could be that you cut up bits of paper. It could be that you use straws. It could be that you use some crayons. I'd like you to find some straight things and make some triangles. Now, as a challenge, could you use these straight things, sticks or pens, to make a circle? I couldn't work it out. See if you can. And your second activity is this. I found an amazing piece of art by an artist called Kandinsky. He's one of my favourite artists. And this is called the Concentric Circles. Look at all these circles that he's painted. That's amazing. I'd like you to have a go at making your own Kandinsky Concentric Circles picture. All you need a piece of paper and some colours. I'm going to have a little go. I like that Kandinsky put them inside each other. Wow, that's the start of my picture. You can use anything you like. You can use pens, you can use crayons, you can use paint. You could even use Play-Doh. See how creative you can be in making your Kandinsky concentric picture. We can't wait to see the reception. Bye-bye.